Hi guys, Jen here from Maine and Scents and Such and Be Scented Fragrance All Supply. I am making a new facial soap. Um, so, it's not like going to be different. My recipe is the same. Um, you know, the jojoba oil and it's got castor. Um, there's no shea butter or cocoa butter. Rice bran, palm, all of those goodies that are good for your skin. Um, but I'm not going to add as much activated charcoal this go round. My oats, my clay, and my goat milk are down here in the bottom. I'm changing the design of the bars for my facial soap. They no longer will be the bars. Here comes in my cream, which is really good for our skin. get my life and I run out of my oatmeal for ground oats in here and I always like to have a little bit of scrubbiness in my facial bars because I use it directly on my face and I like that little scrubby feel um, which oatmeal does not give um, you know a whole lot of scrubbiness it is soft but I like the scrubby feel so I'm going to add jojoba beads in here um, to represent my scrubbiness that I want. So we'll see um, if I'm happy that way. So let's see. Let's go ahead and add our line. I had to label my container because I made three separate uh, recipes today. See, it has a little F on there for facial. I made my Aleppo soap, I made facial soap, I'm making facial soap, and I'm making a regular batch of soap for cupcakes, or for a cake. So, yeah, I had to measure or label so I did not mess up. I'm just gonna get this to emulsification because I've got to blend in my clays. Let's go ahead and we'll add the oats or the jojoba beads. I'm doing green because this recipe is mostly French green clay. So let's put a couple. Well, wait and see if another one comes on on Noah. We'll add this. For our scrubbiness. Which jojoba bees are great for the face. They're not scratchy, so they're not going to scratch your skin. But it will give light exfoliation. And that's what you want. So. I'm going to end up doing an in-the-pot swirl because I'm not w wanting to use a whole lot of the charcoal. So this one I'm going to pour out for the charcoal. Well, no, I'm going to pour most of it in here. I'll do the charcoal in the small one or in this one. Let's see. Normally I did equal parts. This time I'm going to do less charcoal. Mainly because I had a request if I could do it this way. So I said I sure can. And I also think I want mine that way too. Alright, so 
This one is going to be the green clay. What, Noah? If I can open it. Did another one come on? It is out. Did another one come on? Mama Fanny. Mommy is a fanny. Huh? Mama Fanny. Your thingy? Yeah. I don't know what you did with your thingy. No. peppermint and tea tree. It's what my facial bar always is. I'm going to see if one heaping scoopful is good. Because I'm not using as much um, batch wise. Hmm? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, well hold on. Can you wait till I'm done here? Yeah. Now you can't see the jojoba beads in this section, but that's okay. They're still there. So we'll add some of our scent in here, just a little bit. Rest in my big batch. I'm going to hand stir it. Because I want this to stay fluid enough to where I actually want this one to swirl good. Um, I'm switching it to this container so it's easy to pour in the individual molds because you know we're changing the shape. Mm -hmm. It's going to be um, little flowers that's good size for your hand. Now they're smaller bars but the price will be reflected for the smaller Mommy, size bars. Help me help me this, this. Okay, so we're going to do our in the pot swirl. I'm totally out of facial bars and they sell well so I said I better get on the ball to making some more okay so give that a good stir in there You're walking. I'm walking with this. Silly boy. Now, as I fill these up, I'll stick them in the oven to get them out of my way. Let me make sure I've got room down in here. Because I made some soap earlier. Stuck it in here. Okay. I'm not sure how many of these I'll fill up, but I think I have enough molds. I have two different types of flowers. Ooh. 
think I'm gonna pour that one a little shy and level these off, level that one off if that is. in the fridge or in the oven out of my way This is the other kind. I'm actually going to give this a gentle stir in here. Not a lot because I don't want to mix that up too much. But enough to get it going again. I think I'm going to need one more mold. But these will be much easier to hold on to and um, Because if you're using it just on your face like I do, then you don't need a, then the bar lasts a really long time. Fill up one more with the scrapings out of the bowl. I'm going to try to do this and not walk the camera too much. Well, got enough for another one. Not full, but that's okay. This bar will be mine. And this bar is quite muddy looking. By the time my bar that I have in my shower now peters out, I will have these ready. Alright guys, I'll bring you guys back when I unmold these. And I hope you like the new facial bars. Hey guys, Jen here. I am back to unmold all of my facial soaps. So, put that up to be washed. One more. Hold on, guys. Okay. I'm actually going to put a 
piece of wax paper down on this and I'm going to store these on here. until I'm ready until well until I organize my uh, curing rack to get them situated on there nicely okay so here you they're still a bit tacky feeling they always are in silicon molds you can see the jojoba beads in there they look pretty awesome. I did not count how many bars. 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 20. I got 21 bars and half of one for me. These turned out really nice. I love this. I'm so excited to have my facial bars this way. of this one and then I will unmold them from the other mold so you guys can see the shapes of those it would be from this one you wipe my hands off again oh that's pretty I love the swirl it's in there It turned out great. These are, I think they're perfect size soaps to hold in your hand and to rub on your face. And the last, and if you use it just for your face, they're going to last a very long time. Which that's what I use mine for, only my face. just boring for you guys. I really like them. So I will let you guys go. I won't unmold the rest of them. They're all the same. And I'll catch you guys for my next video.